Number 7. This is 1951 S. Washington Quarter in MS 67 plus condition. Attractively toned specimen with CAC approval. A fully struck, intensely lustrous superb gem quarter, with gorgeous rainbow toning near the peripheries. According to NGC, gems of this issue are quite plentiful, even up through MS 67. Many of these coins, however, have a very soft and diffused look from heavy dye erosion. The mints were under the restraint of budget cuts in place since the end of World War II, and this led to overuse of both dyes and equipment. A well-struck 1951 S quarter from fresh dyes is a rarity not truly reflected in the census. This specimen ended up selling for $1,762.50. Number 6. An error penny. 1924 S. Lincoln cent struck 30% off center. Graded in mint state 65 brown by NGC. An amazing off center Lincoln cent with mint orange surfaces that are tempered with golden tan toning. According to Stax Bowers, off center to 7 o'clock with the obverse rim through the bottom of Lincoln's portrait, and with all of the date and legend details intact except Libe, which is off the planchet. The reverse details, off center to 11 o'clock, feature everything from 1 cent downward. Only the base of the M and E pluribus unum is visible at the top. It was sold for two thousand fifty-six dollars and twenty-five cents. Number five. This is proof nineteen thirty-eight Washington quarter, graded as PR sixty-eight by NGC. A virtually pristine, superb gem with mottled pastel toning to universally mirrored surfaces. Impressive condition rarity from a mintage of eight thousand forty-five proofs, one of the most limited in the Washington quarter series. According to NGC, the published mintage figure of proof quarters for 1938 is a bit misleading, as the odd 45 coins were destroyed for assay purposes, whether in-house that year at the Philadelphia Mint or during the official annual assay held the following February. Some 10 obverse and 6 reverse dies were utilized for this production. The proof quarters of 1938 reveal another advance in average quality over 1936-37. This specimen ended up selling for $2,280. Number 4. This is 1968 D. Kennedy half dollar indented by a half dollar struck on a quarter planchet. Graded as AU58 by PCGS. This half dollar was struck normally the first time, then a new planchet was inserted into the press, but it was a quarter sized planchet that was struck by the half dollar press first, thus the indent shows the flattened eagle of the half dollar along with Kennedy's head in cues as well as God in cues and backwards in the indent from this process. A few surface scratches on the obverse cheek of Kennedy, perhaps from the ejection process. It was sold for $2,350. Number 3. 2000 P. Sacagawea dollar with boldly detailed tail feathers. So-called Cheerios dollar. This lot includes 2000 Lincoln cent as well. Both coins are individually graded and encapsulated by PCGS, as follows, Cheerios dollar, MS-68, and Cheerios Cent, MS-64RD. Each piece is as made apart from a few faint carbon spots on the scent. The dollar exhibits virtually pristine satin surfaces. This popular variety of the first-year Sacagawea dollar is affectionately known as the Cheerios dollar, and it is most readily identifiable by the pronounced enhancement evident to the detail of the eagle's tail feathers. These pieces were distributed by the mint in boxes of Cheerios cereal as part of a promotional program with General Mills to advertise the new golden dollar coin. Each distribution also included an accompanying 2000 Lincoln cent, as here. Only 5,500 examples of this variety were distributed, and many of these Cheerios dollars were obtained by non-numismatists who eventually spent the coins or otherwise mishandled them. This lot of two coins ended up selling for $6,600. Number 2. This is 1906 Indian cent in PR67 red cameo condition. A breathtakingly beautiful strike and condition rarity from a mintage of 1,725 proofs. Fully struck with an uncommon satin texture, the devices contrast boldly with highly reflective fields. Vivid red and orange colors dance across silky smooth, virtually pristine surfaces. Rare with a cameo finish, this issue was struck from dyes that were polished in such a way that the vast majority of coins emerged from the press with both the fields and devices reflective. It was sold for $30,550. Number 1. And this is 1913 Lincoln sent in MS67 plus red condition. Exceptional eye appeal, color and quality for the date specialist who demands the finest Lincoln sent available. 
struck with depth and precision on all the devices and lettering, and free of carbon spots or bag marks of any significance. Bright mint red spans the obverse and reverse, and the eye appeal is strong in every possible category. It was sold for $35,250. Thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned for more exciting content, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to unlock more valuable insights. God's will, see you in the next episode.